one of the most dynamic aerialists to ever grace the league. Vince Carter and the New Jersey Nets will try to take one on the road in this exhibition game against the bruising Los Angeles Clippers and their versatile scoring pivot, Chris Kamen. The New Jersey Nets versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Up next on the 2K Sports Network. He is half man, half amazing, Vince Carter, suited up and ready to roll. The dynamic one can get it done from anywhere on the court, always dangerous and always ready to come up big in the clutch. Here with Clark Kellogg and Cheryl Miller, this is Kevin Harlan. And now, as we're about set, T-Mobile presents the starting five lineups. Well, it's time for the tip-off. Let's get underway. The Nets control the tip-off, and we'll get this one started. Here's Harris. Scores the opening field goal. Just put the ball in his hands, Kevin, and watch him go to work. He's going to make something good happen. Leads him with the bounce pass. Pena, Lopez on the rebound. Here's the break. Up ahead to E. Harris. Did a great job with that pinpoint bounce back. You love to play with guys who'll set you up like that. Backs in. Kim shoots it up. That's a major league denial there. Really attacked the ball once it left the shooter's hand. Harris. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. Devin Harris certainly is one of the most athletic, certainly as quick a point guard as you'll find League One. Not only does he have straightaway speed, Kevin, but he also has change of direction speed, which allows him to get to the rim almost at will. Gets them both. Kamen inbounds the ball. Here's Davis, got a hand on it. Nobody expects him to be an intimidator, so when he gets a block, it motivates the whole team. The layup flipped in by Carter. The Clippers will take their first timeout of the game. The Clippers are trying to stop this run. They really need a bucket to get their offense back on track. Barron with the shot. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Davis. Can't sink the first. Good on number two. Lopez inbounds the ball. Williams backs down. Snatched inside by Candy. About three and a half minutes left in the first quarter. To Davis. Takes a three. He is on it. Davis couldn't make the most of his opening from behind the arc. That's a tough miss against sloppy defense. And now our sideline reporter Cheryl Miller has some information for us. Let's check in with the Gatorade around the cooler update. Well, guys, earlier I spoke with Mike Dunleavy, coach of the Clippers. I asked him what his game plan was, and he said they're really at their best when they attack the basket and don't settle for jump shots. Coach went on to say that he feels his team's ability to finish at the rim will be key in this matchup. Well, with their athleticism, it sounds like a good plan. With the players on their roster, that's a great plan. Harris. Him grabs the rebound inside. It's two on one. Leads him in. Oh! Let's see that again on the Sprite Slam Cam. No soft stuff for him. When he throws it down, he throws it down hard. Williams inbounds the ball. E. And he 
can't stop the run. 2-10 left in the first. He looked a little awkward and off balance on that layup Cooper. attempt. He's definitely disappointed with himself there. Both teams will make substitutions. Substitution on the court. Backs him down. Here's Mobley. Gets the go-ahead bucket. Coach Frank signals for a timeout. Kevin, man-to-man -man defense. Yeah. Doolin tosses it up, cans the shot. Two assists by the fifth-year veteran out of Wisconsin. Kevin, he didn't hesitate that time. The D gave him a step, and he just pulled up and drained the three. Barron reels it in. Oh, tried to go over the taller man and paid the price. Carter, Kyle drives it in to finish the break. Carter can drop it on your head all game long. He's too good in there. Thornton backs in. Fades back. It's a little short, but gets the friendly roll. Thornton is lucky to make that one. I know they can get better looks than that. Dishes it to Williams. Carter hands it off to Williams. Harris dumps it off to Swift. Kick it to the right guy at the right time. That's a good pass. Thornton inbounds the ball. 51 seconds left in the first. Barron. Swift yanks it down inside. The break is on. Grabbed inside by Carter. Snares the offensive rebound, then sends it home. The Clippers could out for the quick shot here. That would leave him with a final possession. Backs him down. Offline. One second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. He gets hammered and he'll head to the line. Shooting the two. And he makes the first one. Both teams will make substitutions. Substitution on the court. You don't expect anything less when he's at the line. He's just a terrific free throw shooter. Dishes it to Canby. Dunks it home off the sweet dish. He's getting the highlight real play of the day. Wait a minute. Make that week. Hey, make it the year. Now that was a dunk. Here's Carter. Kamen banks down the defensive rebound. He went into the stratosphere to pull that one down. That man can elevate. Shot it up in time, but the buzzer beater was off the mark by Williams. The first quarter has ended, and both teams have been lighting it up. The score, 19 to 13. The Nets have taken the early lead. Well, they're in attack mode now, Kevin. Every time they get the ball, they're coming right at you, looking for contact, and looking for buckets right at the 10. All right, the second quarter should begin momentarily. Camden inbounds it to start the second quarter. Backs down. The pass to Camby. No good. A little defensive pressure can go a long way, Kevin. Still, I'm surprised he wasn't able to convert. Defensive rebound corralled by Thomas. What more can he ask for? Came up against very little defensive resistance, then boxed the layup. Shooting two. 
can't sink the first. He sinks the second. To Lopez, unloads from nine. Bullseye! Lopez has got a terrific look at that one, and you could tell from the moment it left his fingers that it was going in. I'm done, I'm done! Williams. Backs in. Sweet rebound by the eight-year veteran out of DePaul. Hey, the three ball. Kim recovers it. Swings it to Mobley for three. Buries it. Mobley is a competitor. And if he likes the look, he'll jack it up. As long as it falls, no one's complaining. Hayes tipped away, but it's recovered by the Nets. Yanked down inside by Candy. About three and a half minutes left in the second. Good effort on the board. He worked hard for that one. Thomas sacks down. Got a piece of it, but it's retrieved by Mobley. Here's Thomas. It's blocked. Hayes passes it up court. Kim holds it in, and that's his sixth rebound of the game. Mobley. Great D. Hey, that's the two. That's the way to throw it down. That's a nice jam right there. Davis inbounds the ball. Here's Williams. Boom. Stifles the shot. It's one on one. He skips it to the elbow. Led him nicely with the dish, and it's laid in by Simmons. As you can see, the bench has been a real factor so far, Clark. The second unit has really come up huge and been a factor in this game, Kevin. The coach loves it, and the starters are getting some well-deserved rest because of it. Williams threw that lead pass right on the sweet spot. Great vision. Hayes kisses it off the glass and in. Hayes isn't a guy who's going to fill it up on you, but that one, he got to fall. Davis had a piece of it. Backs him down. Offline. Leads him with the pass. Simmons foul hook. Take a trip to the line. He knocks down the first one. And both teams will make some substitutions. Substitution on the court. He gets them both. Kamen inbounds the ball. 135 left in the half to Thornton. My goodness, he can't be happy about that play. That was ugly. Up court, here's Harris. Davis snatches the defensive rebound. Harris is a streaky shooter, and at the moment, he's really struggling. No good. Carter goes up. Court inhales it. Carter always looks to take it hard to the rack, but that was a major contest. The defense was all over. Sunk by Davis. Davis really benefits his team when he hits that mid-range jump. Well done. Harris. Williams keeps it alive. Offline. Team way up court. Here's Davis. Laid in softly off the glass. Williams inbounds the ball. To Lopez. Takes it up. Props it in on the layup. 
Great assist on that basket. He's seeing the floor well, and he's making some beautiful passes. 25 seconds left in the second. Barron goes up, lays it in off the glass. No one really contested him at the basket that time, Kevin. He's just too good in there to leave the door open for him. Lopez shoots, connects on the baseline jumper. Beautiful delivery with the bounce pass. He kept it away from the defense, which set up the shot perfectly. Thornton can't get the buzzer beater. And that concludes the first half. The score, 33 to 25. The Nets have been on the scoring tear, Kevin. Yeah, they've really been hot. Okay, it's time for our T-Mobile Halftime Report. Marcus Campbell has stood out with his rebound total at six. Devin Harris is our assist leader with four. Let's have a look at the team stats from the first half. The Nets have been blocking shots left and right. It's helped give them a lead. Yeah, you said it, Kevin. That's right. They've been playing with a lot of intensity on the defensive end of the floor. Well, the second half will begin in just a few moments. Thornton inbounds it to start the second half. Here's Davis. Good from 11 feet out. Nice shot by the 10th year veteran out of UCLA. Passes it to Carter. Goes up. Williams snatches it down inside. They will this one goaltender. Cut the shot. Williams is really doing a great job of finding the open man, and he has his team working in harmony because of it. It's like he has a second set of eyes. He is doing such a great job of distributing, Clark. How do you counteract that? New Jersey needs to put more pressure on the ball and to try to force him to give it up before he gets comfortable. And now our sideline reporter, Cheryl Miller, has some information for us. Let's check in with the Gatorade around the cooler update. Well, guys, as the Nets came out for the second half, I spoke with Coach Lawrence Frank. He told me that they'll have to elevate their game if they want to hold on to this lead. He mentioned that they haven't been able to really capitalize at the free throw line, making an issue of it sometimes can backfire. He told his players to relax and take their time out there. We'll see if it helps. Well, sometimes the harder you try on your free throws, the tougher it gets. Yeah, we'll see if they can make an improvement here in the second half. The Nets just owning the inside right now, Clark. Can they be stopped? It doesn't look like it. They just keep pounding it inside and getting points on every possession. If they keep doing what they're doing, they'll be fine. We say it over and over time and time again. Please make the easy pass. That's what happens when you don't. Gordon unloads from nine, gets the bucket. Terrific shot there. He had a taller defender on him, but he created just enough space to get the jumper up inside. Carter, it's in for three. The Clippers call time. Both teams will make substitutions. Substitution on the court. 